Kasokoso village has in the past two weeks been the scene of violent protests between the residents and the police over a planned eviction by the National Housing and Construction Company. The rioters residents hold stones at the police who responded with tear gas that choked many women and children. The police chief, General Karikai, who paid the residents a courtesy call. <laughs> General Kale Kaihura was quick to apologize to the residents who got caught in the crossfire. Uh, Molinya, the police, Okubeto Ndela, the Biabadu, the Tora Yumu, Avalu Minizuwa, the Biatia Gas, Vagaya Ridachi, Etakarino, Abantu Nibasenga, Nibakuri Mirimu, Gatibabo Gedeko, Tibabu Zako. So that is the original problem. At this one, we walk. Just now, we are in Mongolia. Chechimu. We are talking about the fact that we are going to be in Mongolia. We are going to be in the injured victims expressed their reservation about a development project by National Housing. Nenga fenolwa leva fanins National Housing tempanga kobi wandi kobi ayo ngo mukulembeze wechitu nduchino nti dale taka dino bali nako wana njini. Mube na kutaka njini liyonga ya galo kweru lempenda avane balu wa kudistrikiti na ajirete wachi ya mani chia mani na kunga abantu ve abantu lema manyati wa mungaga aja kuita mpenda Nisubi nanti hawa tewandi wa nerutalo. Ne bata, <laughs> bata niyo ni za polise za jasebo nga wajo kwenye mpenda. Za, za atu wera likiriza. Awaka samba tuko wekata andikira. General Karika Hura promised to institute a commission of inquiry to carry out an investigation into the dispute between national housing and the residents. Sister the commissioner of police enanga. Aja, aja kuja wano, aja kutula wano. The area leaders blame National Housing for causing the violent clashes by allegedly delaying to reclaim the land after being notified of the property's encroachment. The incident yesterday led MPs from Parliament's Public Accounts Committee to grill General Kale Kaihura about the police's use of force in quelling riots. Maurice Ochoa, NTV.